sleepy Saturday. I thought the ad break passed already. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Sucks for them. <laughs> Hi, Silver. How are you? Let me turn down the BGM. From what I could tell is uh, they're back. From what I can tell, there was uh, no sound coming from the character creator, so I just have to hope the BGM works. It just turns off when I exit the window, apparently. Okay, let's make our first Zoe. Choose a name. What? Oh, last name, first name. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the... Is... Game audio is like really loud. How's that? Is that good? Can you can you hear me all right over the music or do I need to turn it down a little more? Let's see, what does Raven ever, Everborn look like? Okay. Age group. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Select a trait. Oh. Um, okay. Adventurous entertainer. Collaborator, safety conscious, expert, explorer, individual, art uh, artistic, go-getter, socialite, charmer, volunteer, perfectionist, social activist, dreamer, mediator, leader, authoritarian. Okay, I'm just putting it down a little more because this bar looks like it's going really high compared to my voice. Entertainer. Yeah. Oh. An optimistic ener <coughs> energetic Zoy. <laughs> uh, with an extrovert extroverted personality, they cannot stand boredom and are always open to new experiences. With a great sense of humor and wit, they are consistently create a bright and lively atmosphere around them. They are skilled in forming social relationships and collaborating making them able to mingle well with others through a, song, throng, <laughs> a strong sense of teamwork. However, they struggle to focus on one task for long periods and can appear distracted. Okay. Uh, always on the move, looking for thrilling experiences. Uh, what? Meow. 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 Never wants attention until I'm streaming. Yeah, that works for me. Desired life and development. Okay. Changes cannot be made after this creation. Got it. Is this just the demo or the full game already on the US? Uh, th this is just the demo. Um, they have the character creator demo out for un until tomorrow, I think. 
Um, it's just on Steam, so you can go and wishlist it and get the demo if you so please. On another note, apparently this is made by the same folk that made PUBG, I see. And people really like PUBG, right? Or at least that's that's <laughs> what I think. That's my impression of the game. Okay, Zoe presets. Is that what we're on now? Oh, no. Wow! Okay. Well, I mean, the I make our swell preset we already have. It's pre pretty nice. Oh, you're standing on my stomach. Ow. Oh. This is a lot of preset Zoys. Wow. take that off. I have gnats and they keep flying around my face. And I'm not very happy about that. Wait, can I not put those on? Going by the Steam page, its graphics are insane for a Sims clone, yes. Uh, I keep hearing it's a very, very in-depth character creator. So we are- I probably can't make like D&D &D races and whatnot, but there's a half-elf character I will try to make, which is who we are working on right now. Those pants seem right. I just need a... Okay. Um... Crop top shirt with a tie. <laughs> Go off, I guess. <laughs> she wouldn't wear that, though. Can I tuck it in? What's this? Pre-made outfits. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting the uh, the puffy pants. <laughs> change those please <laughs> are you saying the suspenders come with no where are those I don't even see those
I have a bunch of jackets. It's sequined. Okay, well, I guess not sequined, but still patterned to shine like it is. Hey, look at these, look at these details. That's like full yarn pattern. It takes a moment for everything to load, but once it does, it's really nice quality. In my opinion, the industry needs a good, if not <laughs> great, alternative to Sims, seeing as you to pay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's even more than two hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure it's like thousands at this point for Sims Four. They have so many packs and everything out. Ooh. I like that. Ah, oh, there's an underwear section even though you can't see it. starting to get wacky with the outfit. Look at this. I don't think the boots match. Wait, but I... Can I... Nope. Oh, The boots don't have a color option. Okay. Uh, okay. That's really close. What's the difference? They all look the same. It's been a while since I've done anything with this character, but she's technically mixed. So I don't know which skin to go for. Thank you, Saribot. Good bot. <laughs> I think I think that'll be a good a good skin tone for her. If these gnats don't get out of my room, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> what does that mean custom hair?
These are a lot of like nice styles though. Look, see they have a color wheel. I can give my Zoe purple hair. You know what I you know what I can't give my sim? Oh, well I don't want the eyelashes to change color. Man, I keep I cl keep clicking the wrong one to turn the camera. Okay, looked it up. According to Screen Rant, the full price for The Sims is $1,235. Yes. They get thousands of dollars from Sim sales and they can't listen to what people actually want. It just kind of looks not like a great color. I only have option for base color. Maybe if I find a skin tone that looks okay with the, with the with the color maybe Maybe it could also be the face. I haven't done anything with the face yet. Face presets. There's a lot of them. I wish they were a little bigger so I could see... ...details. I also like the, um, you can turn off symmetrical. That looks... Okay, um, let me just scroll through these presets, see what we're working with. looked a lot darker in the, <laughs> in the little mini photo. Mm. I'm gonna go with this one. Let me go put the hair back. I will get the eyebrows changed. I will do it manually. Why are these all so thick? I 
Those are really thick <laughs> eyebrows. Okay, actually, I see we can add colors to the, um... So if I do that, eyebrows. Click that, it'll give me exactly what I need. Did I? No, not it. I thought I saw something else. Eyelashes. Oh. Yes, hello game. I'd like to remove glasses. Look at all these presets. You got you got stars. Amazing. <laughs> One with the ring lights in them. I still don't like how dark the eye eyebrows are. I wish it didn't have like the flashing between each change, even if it was something you had previously loaded, because that makes it harder to tell how different it looks. in focus mode. There's, there's no... The Sims, you need better like five different expansions, and maybe get half of these options. Yes, <laughs> that's also why modding is a big thing. I'm surprised they um, hold on, I'm surprised they allow modding because <laughs> then people don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to uh, buy these packs. Some modders just put the uh, put the packs in their, <laughs> their mods. I would like to change. Bridge of the nose. Oh, wait, wait, I see it. I just barely see the little dots.
No, I held my hand over the dot. You didn't give me the dot. <laughs> My accuracy isn't that bad, is it? The Sims could never... Never. You try to edit, try to edit Sims, they all start to look alike after a certain point, but like, the fact I can change the nose shape just from two options on the bridge, one on the, the um, end of the nose, and then two nostrils. I want to see Sims try to do that. Can I not make the forehead smaller? The forehead. The forehead, Raven. Your forehead is so big. But there's... this do? No idea. I can already see this becoming a popular to tool in the D&D community with detailed- uh, with this detailed of a character creator. Yeah, that's what I'm- that's what I'm trying to do. They don't... I can only hope at some point we get, like, different ear options and whatnot. Like I said, she she's technically a half-elf in D&D. &D. The best I can do <laughs> to get close to that is this. Okay, okay, I like the silhouette of her face, you know, this this angle. It's just when you look at her straight on, trying to... Wow, what are you two doing? Um, I don't like how that moves. Hello? So we're we're doing we're doing pretty okay. It's just there's a few different things I wish w 
were a little better. I really like this, like, coat, though. It's pretty. We can do eyeliner, eyeshadow, blush, lipstick. What's this? I see. I see. Um... I grab my chips. I mean, this is pretty. I just <laughs> I don't know it. I wonder why they come with them. Can you remove them? Almost. I could still see it after I took it off. Well. There's a line on my screen. Hold on. There we go. No more line. Meow. Give me a second. I'm just changing the title of the stream. Meow. There we go. What? You want me to play with you? Okay, grab bottle cap. Ready? He's not gonna bring it back. Yeah, what if I really just don't want... What if I don't want eyeshadow here? Turning down the intensity to zero does nothing, it's still there. Was wrong he did bring it back lately I've been throwing them and he's not been bringing them back whatsoever ah he stopped playing a bag I don't Meow. Is this the one under- which one's under the eye? Not that one. That one. That's the one under the eye. Do people really put, like, makeup under their eye? Eyeshadow. It's way too bright. Okay, you know, I've decided no, no eyeshadow 
Where is it? Where were your bottle cap? I have a uh, uh, extended like claw reaching thing since I can't bend over to pick stuff up. And it's mainly just used for me to grab his bottle cap so I can just throw them for him. Wow, you you brought that back super fast. He like ran in with it. He was like bolting. He was like, here, here, here. Here it is, mom. Here's I try not to look at him when he brings back his, his bottle caps because sometimes he'll just drop the bottle cap and not bring it back. He'll just stare at me like, hey, I brought the, you need to throw a toy. I'm like, you didn't bring back any toy for me to throw. Oh, I think he's done. What happens if I... Ah. Very stylish. Okay. Oh. not very muscle but she is skinny she is a half elf wait are all the zoys the same height too Okay, um, so, you can have big boobs without your rib cage growing like that, too. I know from experience. I can actually, I am a bit bigger, <laughs> like, I'm on the bigger end of like weight and everything and even I right underneath my chest uh I can feel my ribs like super easy you don't have to press very far to feel the ribs because there's nothing there <laughs> why is I don't I don't like that One size of feet. Okay. We already picked the outfit. Oh, socks. I haven't looked at socks. <laughs> Leg warmers. Oh. No leg warmers. My bad. <laughs> Man, this coat is so pretty. I love that. I want my I want my own. That's a customized outfit. Where where did this crop top come from?
Interesting. Okay, okay. That's neat. Is this supposed to be like outer outer clothes? Maybe. If it is, why can't I see the shirt we just also made a customization on? Oh. Raven doesn't do skirts. It's like a big part of her. Okay, whatever. Um. Raven is strongly against skirts so <laughs> no hat no eyewear necklace maybe not that I can see them <gasps> um Yeah, you know what? That works. That works for me. Ooh. Change the color of the gem. Oh. I don't want that. Um. That's not what I wanted. She takes after her dad. So I want to throw in the element of her, her mom in there too. Ooh. Man. See this, this is jewelry I can actually see people wearing. If you go look at this sim stuff, I'm, I usually skip out on jewelry <laughs> or I just use the same pair over and over again. Nope, nothing in here. Oh! <laughs> so that's a lot of options. Which one would Raven wear? Not that's not something you really think about. Unless you're like super in depth on creating characters is their nails. She plays instruments, so they would need to be short. Which... Does not appear to be a lot of these. Yeah, complete. Where do I go from here? I can only make one Zoe.
Dang, okay, so... I thought we could make, like, multiple and then use them in the game when it came out. Is that, is that not right? Ooh. I didn't realize it could change. <laughs> I wonder if some of the option features were limited for the sake of the demo. It's, it's not full release because there is this part right here. Um, can you see my mouse? You cannot. This desired life right here, it still says in development. So I know they're not done, but I hope this is that they, they release this demo to get feedback about things that they could add or you know people are asking for. <laughs> Not the heart. Not the heart on the face. First, it might seem hard, but as you live the life given to you, you'll be able to learn many things. Ooh. Okay, it looks like we have three cities. Select the city you'd like to manage. This sounds like a beach city. Yeah. Well, let's read the other ones first. Doan, similar to a major Korean city, is one of the parallel cities in the multiverse. The modern urban vibe of Doan seems to seamlessly or seamlessly blends with the breathtaking natural beauty that surrounds it. Though renowned for vibrant arts and cultures that optimize the how you live, visitors can also simultaneously experience the serene calm of city parks nestled between skyscrapers. Embark on a new journey, enjoy new experiences, and savor special moments in Dolan, uh, where past and present are constantly intermingling. Ooh. Kahaya, a city in the parallel universe, evokes the charm of Indonesia's beautiful holiday destinations. Renowned for its crystal clear waters, vibrant coral reefs, and rich marine life, it is a haven for snorkel snorkelers and divers. Interacting with the cats that can be found everywhere on the island is also one of Kaya's indispensable charms. Discover fresh inspiration on this tranquil island and sanctuary of natural beauty. Okay, that one's in development, so we can't. About Bliss Bay. Nestled in a parallel universe, Bliss Bay evokes the charm of an American city on the coast. Its sun-drenched, sparkling blue waters offer ideal conditions for surfing aficionados, while its picturesque and beach invites visitors to luxuriate in the sun's soothing warmth. The city's iconic theme park brims with attractions suitable for every age, transforming into the magical spectacle of fireworks at night that illuminate the unforgettable skyline. In Bliss Bay, you can truly experience the relaxed, joyful <laughs> lifestyle that its name suggests. Interesting. Mm. And I can't read these little ones. Yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I can't. Oh. Then why? Okay, see, so it does say. How about focusing on creating Zoys? But it said I could only make one Zoy. So can I make 
Zoys? Multiple? Or can I make Zoy? Single. Flies. Zoy three demo. So Doan, Seoul, Bliss Bay, LA, San Fra Andreas. No idea for the last one though. I don't know. I don't really know Indonesian cities. Um, can I make multiple? There are almost infinite colors available in the Inzoi color picker and the ability to change Zoe's expression with the smartphone facial recognition feature too. Nice, okay. I I want the <laughs> I want the answer though. Can I only make one or can I make multiple? Because it tells tells me to make Zoe's, but it says I can only make one Zoe. I would like <laughs> I would like to make multiple Zoe's so that I have more Zoe's to use when um, you know, when it comes out, how many soys can I make? Okay, let's see. Can you actually only make one Zoe in the demo? Am I missing something? Okay. Okay, so someone said... Okay, so they say you... Okay. No, because that doesn't work. Yeah, nothing happens. When I when I click on it, it says currently you can only create one Zoe, and then I click that. That's the thing we just did. To get to the, uh, like, the, um, the little world thing. After you get the it will be deleted message, you can continue ignoring it and going back. It doesn't actually delete. When you start again, you'll find a Zoe in, here in the preset area. Okay, um... I can hope. Hope, I guess that's it <laughs> then, huh? No, we're gonna... What's that? HR Menergy. <laughs> Henry. What's up, Henry? Welcome to AR Company. I'm Henry from HR. I'll be giving you an overview of the company and your responsibilities. Oh, should I have done this first? Oh god, it's lagging. <laughs> lagging so much, okay. Is that it? Oversee the realm of Inzoi, home to the Zoys, and carry out numerous life tasks. Okay. I can't, I can't. It's lagging. lagging so hard um what's a generic white person name this part seems quite framey it does <laughs> I gave up I glow with PS yeah it might be my computer it might just be the game not be able to tell you There we go. Generic white person name, Kara Smith. Um, 
Hi, darkness is me. Hi, how are you? Moment of truth, is she here? She is! She's there twice. Oops. Look at all these options. Yes, I don't care. Go. That's a cute outfit, too, though. I just... <laughs> I don't like the cropped... Cropped shirt with the tie. <laughs> There's, there's so many options. See, why do some of these have the thin eyebrows, but when I went to go put thin eyebrows on my other Zoe, I couldn't do anything. Here's a very generic white looking sim. Okay. Or Zoe. Very generic white. <laughs> white young adult socialite there we go a socialite pursues success and highly values social recognition with outstanding social skills they are adept at making a lasting impression on others which serves as a key factor in making them the center of attention and leading them to success they take pride in captivating those use <laughs> around them using their charm, but are also highly conscious of others' perceptions, often comparing themselves to others or competing to maintain their status. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We can... We can choose that one. That schoolgirl outfit reminded me of, like, the 2016-era manga Galagari style. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a weird shirt to put into a, a game without, like, you know. Um, yeah, we'll just go with generic white girl. Hairstyle. I do want to go look at all the hairstyles, so let's, let's see. Man, okay, there we go. That one is pretty nice, though. This hairstyle always feels like it's not, like, 100% loaded. Because the game does that, like, white glowy thing <laughs> when it does it. Um, that kind of hurts my eyes. Carswell, that's my bottle cap. That is for the bottle of water I am currently drinking out of. That is not for you to come up here and grab, okay? My ball cap is mine. He doesn't even know where I put it. Ooh, pretty. I like the little, like, baby hairs that show on the back, too. A. My bottle cap. Mine. He loves fresh bottle caps, but it's, it's mine. Look, I put it on the bottle. It doesn't exist anymore. You don't have a concept of object permanence. Could be me, but this seems to pull a lot of inspiration from manga and manhwa for its clothing and hairstyles. Yeah, especially these first one, but they are also called, uh, they're also the custom hairstyles. <sighs> Big yawn. Um, I wish they would explain what they meant by custom. Nice, okay. It takes 
a few seconds for it to load completely so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> That's why I'm just like staring because it's taking forever to adjust. I like that hairstyle. <laughs> what if I made Viper? <laughs> Look, they got they got the Viper hairstyle. They got the Viper hairstyle button, uh, Karen mode. I really, it's just, I don't have good eyes to begin with. And every time I load in something new and it does that, like, white flashy and, like, fading into, like, existence sort of thing it's messing with my my eyeballs oh it's nice okay and now back to the it's like it's like an after image. Do do you see that? Like look at her forehead. After images are hard enough when your um why these are the same exact thing. Why is it doing that? <sighs> My eyes hurt. I'm trying not to look at them while it loads, but I, I'm so curious and I want to wanna see it the moment it loads. Carswell, 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 Carswell. Carswell. Yeah, get eaten. <laughs> Make sure I don't have any fur in my mouth. Ooh. I like that. This game might be pushing your PC to its limits. Probably. Let me see. Enjoy. I mean, if it runs, is running. Um, I know I have some issues running Final Fantasy fourteen sometimes, too. Um, uh, another yawn. Um, when the benchmark came out for the Final Fantasy fourteen graphics update, I did have it only go up to, um, a lot of people were getting, like, what is it like it's, it's, I got high that's all I got some people are getting like extreme high or like extremely high or like s super high in like terms of if you know their their computer versus the benchmark and it's like trying to see how how well you can load it and I was like man this is only a two-year-old computer like you're telling me I only get it on high, <laughs> um, but so I don't I don't play my my Final Fantasy in the best graphics, but I I try. Um, what do I enjoy PC? Yeah, PC requirements. Um, can you run it? A system requirements lab, a good website. Can I click this? Can you run it button and not? <laughs> this isn't meant to be run on low mid-range PCs 
Yeah. I have to take a look at it later. We're just gonna zoom through these now. I'm gonna go ahead and... Wow, okay. We got, we got the undercut, we got the... The Beauregard. And this is that same hairstyle. A bit. <laughs> Let me send this to, to someone. <laughs> we got the gay lesbian hairstyles, what I said. I mean, a lot of good options. Oh no, what is... Oh no. Not the bowl cut. Not the bowl cut. We got the, the granny. Oh, that one. That one is definitely for a gay zoy. I mean, any zoy can be gay if you if you try hard enough. Look at that one. People can pull that off. What's your secret? I don't have the energy to do my hair like that. I can't lift my arms for very long. And we got bald. Um. I really liked that one on her. I think what we are gonna do is I like the strands in the front not so much the um oh wait is it ombre it is that is not what I wanted to change I mean, we could still keep it a little bit of an ombre I just I want the uh the strands in the front to like really pop you know what is that that throws it off <laughs> Every hairstyle can be a gay lesbian hairstyle if the wear is bold enough. Yeah. That hairstyle gives major rogue X-Men vibes. This one? I also just don't know anything about X-Men. <laughs> okay, I would really like to figure out the difference between these skins. Okay, so this one has freckles. This one also has freckles. Oh, 
Okay, so I see a little bit of a difference right in her, like, cheek area. How do I make this thing so you can see my mouse? There you go. Okay. So, like, right in here, I see a difference between these two. I don't know. It looks a little more detailed, but I don't... What's the difference? I need I need it to like go off to the the side and be like hey here's here's what's different between these skins cuz it's so minuscule you'll never know <laughs> basic white girls don't go for for special contacts Like cheekbone and more importantly if I have been to see, to see me freckles yeah some of them have different freckles but the all the face shape is the same the face shape is the same because it's not um oh, what's the word because all that does is change like the skin texture and everything Oh, here we go. The inhumanly realistic eyes. Once again, why are all of these so... Thick. Why are there only thick eyelashes? I just want these angled slightly different. I don't like these eyelashes op options either. Did you see The Sims? The, the Sims finally has eyelash options. You don't have to just focus on the uh, the clumpy mascara. They have actual eyelashes now, but they don't have a lot of options, and so it doesn't even look all that great. <laughs> There's still still no purple hair. You're gonna you're gonna make a game and have the tagline like something something is you know, where you can like make your yourself or I don't I, I don't know what their tagline is. But something like a lot of people make themselves and then like if they have purple hair, what are they supposed to do? Even most mods don't have purple hair. There's probably a mod out there that lets you like add a color wheel to the game. But why hasn't EA added a color wheel to the game? Do they want people to just continue to make boring, boring mods with no, like, individuality? It's- it's fun! Don't- don't get me wrong, I play The Sims some- like, sometimes. When I- when I do play it, I play it a lot. I do a lot of, like, character creating, all this, you know, I've- I like to sometimes do the, um, what are they called? You know, the little scenarios? 
I think the eyebrow choices stem from it being quite manhwa coded. Maybe. But even then, like, the, the manhwa where, um, they go from being ugly with, like, super bushy, bushy eyebrows, and then they, they have character development, they learn how to do makeup and take care of themselves, and now they have, like, super thin, pretty eyebrows. Where are the super thin, pretty eyebrows here? Do I have to wait for my Zoe to go through that phase? I don't understand how EA is still on the market. Because people, there aren't really many more choices other than The Sims. That's why Inzoi is such a big competitor for The Sims because, you know, Sims have has gotten, people have said, like, too comfortable. Um, and what's that other one? Like, Par Paralives, I think it is. Um, people were excited about that too. I haven't heard a lot about it. Um, but at least we have the Enzoi, uh, character creator. Um, and then, like, recently, um, my partner said that they were gonna add, um, or get a new, the, the seasons, they were gonna get the Sims seasons, and I was like, please don't, because right now the, um, voice actors are striking and like video game voice actors are striking and one they're striking specifically like EA is on that list and I was like I don't want to give EA my money I don't want to play their games <laughs> so if it has EA on it I've hidden it in like a little folder onto the uh on my desktop just so I don't have to look at it and be tempted to play it <laughs> but look we have we have Inzoi so, <laughs> who needs The Sims? I don't know anything about makeup. Oh no! That's not good. That highlights are dark circles. Oops, oops. You see that? <laughs> when, I, when I watch makeup tutorials, they always put like highlight like or like concealer under the eye on the bridge of their nose uh, right between their their eyebrows this is just just generic white girl Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I... Maybe there's hope for the future of life sim games. There's definitely a market for it. Like, that's... People love to make and play through other people's lives. There's a reason, like, role-playing games are so... so popular. Um... And, you know, people, like, mod these games to put, like, you know, horns and everything in or different features so that they can make, you know, their, their fantasy races, too, so that maybe that's what the market needs. Maybe the market needs a, uh, a fantasy life sim <laughs> with, you know, races kind of like, you know, D&D &D ones. And you just control your life in this little town. <laughs> come on. Come on. Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna make the fantasy life sim? Who's gonna play? Who's gonna make it so that we can be a tiefling or half-orc or dragonborn and play life sim games? <laughs> See, okay, here's what I don't understand. So the skin has, like, freckle options sometimes, too, but there's... You can put freckles on with the blush. That 
That one gives a beauty mark. Where the market is there. I even played Sims 3 back in the day until it stopped working. Ah. I have the, um, the Sims 2 Complete Ultimate Edition because they had that, like, three days back in, like, 26, 20, 2015, 2016 or something, where you had, like, a three-day window to redeem that and get the whole Sims 2 for free. Um, I really liked The Sims 3. I kind of wish they would do that for The Sims 3, but they're, they're trying super hard to make it so that people can't play those ones. Like, the, I heard some people had The Sims 2 Ultimate Edition removed from their EA libraries. Like, why would you have this media and then just get rid of it? You're, you're just making lost media. I don't know anything about makeup, which one? <laughs> I don't... I don't know what to do. Why is why is there this glitter effect? <laughs> Quick, stereotypical white girl. What makeup? What what makeup would she choose? I don't like this one at all. Yeah, I do be scummy like that. Yeah. There's no, like, ombre option? I can't. So it's like super obvious when I do a light color option, but if I do a dark color option, it's like not there. I don't understand. What is this? Why, why do we have makeup in our little, like, Cupid's, Cupid's butt? Why are we extending lipstick past our, our lip lines? Save me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I've just made it worse. So we have a pretty generic white girl here. 
I don't think there's anything we can change to make her more generic. <laughs> Well, I don't think I like that that profile. Okay, so I can move it. What is it I don't like about this profile? I can't tell. Is ad break incoming? I think it just looks. That's a really big bump. We just realized. The entire white fit. Yeah, you know, I gotta give some muscle. Okay, so I can't change the length of the arms. Okay, so what it looks like is that they are indeed stuck at one height. And all the body proportions are the same. So same issue we have with the Sims there. Look at the outfit presets. Why is it skin colored? <laughs> Hi. K-pop. K-pop idol. White girl trying to dress like K-pop idol. These outfits were created by designers using Clo and Marvelous Designer. Okay. Contest winners. Nice. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, the shirt is almost skin colored. That's so disappointing. Why are three of these just jean outfits? Ooh. I like the skirt. I like the little tails. Shame making such detailed oriented character creator only to skimp out on the important bits. Yeah, I just I assume it's a like Like a graphics like, you know data loading thing is harder to make a bunch of different characters With different How I see it is so like in Final Fantasy 14 you can have different heights, but you're also more limited in the, like, customization options. And then with The Sims and Inzoi, you can make more, like, customizations to, like, face and body, um, different, like, muscle mass, different body weight, all that thing, like, sort of things, and they probably just have to skimp out, like, somewhere, and they probably choose height and body proportions, which is what the Final Fantasy gives you. It does- I- Because you have to load so, so many characters and everything at once, right? And so, just to like streamline the process, they probably have to pick and choose. Those Chloe outfits give big black, pink, and a bit of KDA vibes, excluding the denim. <laughs> the denim crimes. These ones, it says contest winners. So I don't know what that, what, when they had a contest over there for, but these I'm assuming are like fan made outfits. These aren't made by like the, the game devs. This could be cute, I just wish we could change like the color of the uh the blue bits. I'd love to see it like in black or white. Now we'll see the actual like dev ones. Yeah, these are still like K-pop. Like they're still giving K-pop. Where's- where's the company that makes this game? Is it... in Korea? Or... Are they just taking a lot of inspiration from K-pop because they know it's getting bigger? I mean, they do have cute outfits, so... Okay, it doesn't change the vibe though, yeah. Oh, there goes my AC. I like how each individual string is like textured. It's like modded in. They have all the yarn details. Ah. Oh. That one gave me a hat and glasses. I'd like to do away with the glasses. That's still such a funny outfit with the, the, the big balloon pants. Did the chest get bigger in that black dev clo dress? Um No, it just- because I made the chest bigger, it's loading from the default size every time to the new size I have it set at.
the butt's doing the same thing. So no, they're not getting bigger, they're just snapping into place. Sets, okay. Ooh, sis. Big yawn, okay. Who swimsuits? Imagine just walking around like that. That is like a a like pool or beach fit though. This girl would definitely live on the beach. Like with that the hair <laughs> everything, okay. jumpsuit let's see what else do we have I mean okay so oh well high graphics fidelity is to be expected with the unreal 5 engine yeah ah, another yawn oh, that is why the title is now sleepy Saturday um I was gonna say, um, okay, so overall, like, oh, I need to go in and make other characters, too, of different age groups. Overall, like, opinion, or, like, feel that I'm getting from this is that they did do, like, a lot of focus on, like, making sure that they had everything that people like about The Sims covered, and then they also added in some more elements of that, as well as making it so that the characters are more realistic and you can feel like, probably once you're in the game, you can f almost like put yourself in like their shoes because it like it looks like a person, and I don't know what I'm trying to say, but. <laughs> So, like, they, they hit on all the important notes. It just, it feels like we're missing stuff still. So, it's it's difficult to look at this and be like, yeah, this is, a, like, a really amazing character creator. I think I should be more excited about the game than I am about the character creator. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can only put so much into a game that has graphics like this before you have to stop and start making cuts somewhere. And so I can only hope that by the time they're ready to like release the game that they have everything figured out. <laughs> I'm also not a big fan of a lot of these clothes. Please? It's clicking a bunch. I don't... And I've been, I, I downloaded this the day it became available, and I've just been waiting because I was like, oh, you know what, I want to do it on stream, too. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why we need, um... I don't know why we need filters in the character creator, but... Hey there. <laughs> So far, it feels a bit too fashion-y stuff uh, to me. Yeah. A lot of these styles, too, like, we don't... Do they have... Do they have pajamas? Do they have multiple outfits? Or are they just stuck in the one outfit? You know, like, anime characters? Are they... All these questions out. And skirt straight up just did not load. <laughs> yeah, I would love to have all these uh questions answered. I hope the devs are um taking comments. Man, I just want something that looks cute with this shirt. I change the color of the shirt. I can. I feel like I'm dressing a kid with this t-shirt. But I'm not making a, a young adult. Child. A young adult. Where's teen? Where's teenager? Oh, but we have, we have middle-aged. There we go, we almost have our stereotypical white girl, fully dressed and ready to use. What shoes though? <laughs> Just looking at those fits, I guarantee that like 98% don't have pockets, you are probably correct. Hello? These shoes don't even fit. See that gap? You can see the gap here too. Those shoes are not <laughs> modeled to fit the feet they're going on. Oh, this could be cute. Not if I was wearing this outfit, but could be cute. There's such a big gap. There's no way they're taking more than like a step in these shoes stay on. Do I just go with these? No. Change color. Oh. Did you just see Crocs? You saw a Croc without the holes in them, yeah. <laughs> so just like a, a sports shoe. My ears really itchy all of a sudden. It's, that's annoying.
I think I think a hat looks good. Let's choose a different necklace though. Okay, what's the point of these necklaces if you can't see half of them? Why are they not over the clothes? That one is. Those two are just gone. Cute. Is that a skull? It is. I mean, I guess you can wear the little skull necklace. Actually, I've decided I'm not big, that big of a fan of these choices of earrings either. <laughs> the cat ears. Oh, you definitely have like the bee's nails. Okay, okay, so close. There we go. And look, another is like are, are there no bracelets? No, there's no no bracelet options. I'm sure it's okay. Why do so many devs insist on layering the good interesting jewelry under a- yeah. I would love to choose one of the other necklace options, I just- I can't see- I can't see them! I know sometimes when you wear necklaces that are almost the same length as your collar, sometimes they'll slip under, but also sometimes they'll slip over and they'll show. And then they just they just insist on just always hiding them. Like I don't I want her to wear a t-shirt. I don't want her to show her boobs just to show her necklace. There we go. Okay. I want to check the other um I'd like to check the other age groups. So the kids have pajamas. I need to yawn again. I'm trying not to. I stretch too. Ah. Oh. You couldn't hear that, that was loud. Possesses exceptional artistic talent and desires to showcase their abilities through unique creativity. Based on their rich sensitivity, they express their emotions well, but can occasionally be overwhelmed by these feelings, leading to emotional volatility. Their energy at and attention are directed inward with high self-awareness, as uh, they are conscious of others' perceptions and spend considerable time curating their image. They pride themselves on being special and wrecked mod mediocrity. <laughs> mediocrity. I see. It just gave me the exact same character, but in a male. They had some cute fits, though. Look at that.
this definitely Insole Dev T shirt. Crafton. No, oh, that's not. Yeah, okay, so they're headquartered in Seoul. That would be why all these fits are give the vibe of K-pop and like just general Korean streetwear. That explains it truly, yeah. Why? I wonder, all these lock looks are, are long. Like, what if I want the braids, but in like a, like a, you know, a shorter hairstyle. And instead all they've given us is the long locks. I almost thought it was it. See, this one, this one's short, but it doesn't have, a, it doesn't have the braids going down the side. Okay, why is this one highlighted? Ah, you see. See, that's, that's why in almost every game I play, what I do is I just download hair mods because I feel like we're not given enough, enough hair options, but I also understand that you have to, you can't have every single hair option there is out there and you have to pick and choose which ones you have. You can make a phoenix from Valorant in this, I saw, I saw that hair, so... I, I bet you someone has already. Um, I'm not going to be on here for much longer. Like I said, it's Sleepy Saturday and I'm... I'm sleepy. We got, we got buns. But they're meant for non-black hair types. So, so looking at this, we got, we got short, curly, afro. I used that one because I feel like technically it, it can, it can match. We got, we got long locks. We got medium sized locks. I don't think that counts. That looks like it was done with curlers. Um... No. We got we got these the the short curls on top of the head. We got the short locks. And that's it. Yeah, not even this one. That's that's straight hair types. We got, we got small, small curls. I take, I take game diversity very seriously. Like, I would like 
everyone to be represented represented in games. I know a lot of times we're not gonna have that, but please. I'm gonna see their clothes. That'll help if I don't look at the outfit presets. Okay, so kids don't have the uh, the special like outfit tab. Oh, they don't have a lot of options, huh? What? Oh, understands it's just PJs. Yeah, so they're- You only have boxers? Man, I would've loved being able to wear boxers as a kid. Changes cannot be made after creation except just a, uh, age up, I hope. Yeah, there it is. The outfit presets for middle-aged change. I don't think there's anything new. Why is that... Why is it so short? You see in this icon right here, like, it comes down to like right here. And yet when she's wearing it, it it's above her knees? Okay. Okay, I guess. Got Elder. Change too. They don't even have any. But yeah, that button's there, so they might they might get some. No special offer for kids, but they still get the underwear tab, huh? Yeah. Well, they have the underwear tab on Sims too. I see. Okay. But I don't want to save the Zoe. We'll make a little baby Lana Roberts. They don't even get glasses? Gonna have a bunch of blind ten-year-olds running around trying to get to school and everything, but they're just smacking into everything they see. Or can't see. Actually, no, I You can't change the face shape at all. Age group says elder, but the only thing changes the face. Uh, the posture changed a little too, but there wasn't anything different about the clothes. Okay, so you can't change anything about this face. You can do 
everything to the face, you know, with these tabs. But you also aren't allowed to make any changes after creation. So when you level up Azoi, are you allowed to, like, change the face within the, um, you know, limits of what the preset face you chose was? Vision impairment doesn't exist in Azoi. All classes are fashion. Yeah. We mistakenly suffer from more from things that are yet to happen than what's happening right now. Wow. Your bell doesn't ring. Man. Make this stuff on the desk interactive, please. What if I could just press down on that? Oops. Thank you. Okay, but that is that is gonna be it for today. Uh, I mean, we explored it pretty, pretty much as much as we could. I believe, uh, I would love to see some changes made, and I really, really, really do hope that they're listening to what people say about it, um, because if not, if someone tries to mod this game, those mods are gonna go crazy, because they have to be so detailed. <laughs> um... Like my mods folder for the sims is already like nine gigabytes and i would like more mods but having to make a game like a, a mod of bat quality for this game um i can imagine the folder would be a lot bigger for less items but yeah so that's gonna that's gonna be it thank you thank you silver for joining and if anyone was lurking thank you I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Um, we he's live right now. Um, we are not going to raid out today, so just go ahead and feel free to switch to someone else's stream if you'd like to lurk there too. Um, yeah, have a great one. I will see you all next week. I will try to figure out a day and try to actually tweet about it ahead of time. <laughs> so it's not like today where I just randomly posted right as I was going live that I was going live. Um, but yeah, so have a good one. Hope you enjoy your weekend. And I will see you all later, okay? Bye bye